Hey guys, welcome back to the Invent Box. And in today's video, we're going to be using the smudge tool in GIMP. So, let's get started. So, what you can use the smudge tool for is say you have a reflection here. You can take this reflection and stretch it out and make the reflection bigger or even stretch it out longer. And as you do more and more images in GIMP, you'll realize where this becomes very valuable. So you can stretch that out like that with that color, and it'll blend in. Or, if there's a line you need to blur, of course you can just go along the line. Or, if you want to do a very long line, you're going to be blurring. If it's a straight line, you can click up here at the very top and then go down here to the bottom of the line and hold shift and then click like that and then you can do it like this so then that's blurred of course you could if there was like a license plate that you wanted to blur out you can just get a different size brush bump the size up and then you can use this tool to just blur it out or use the shift tool to get it in more crisp areas like that so you can use it to blur stuff like that out and the shift tool is pretty valuable for getting nice crisp corners so that's some of the variable very valuable things that I use the smudge tool a lot for. I've had instances where I have to take the reflection like on this piece here and I would have to stretch the reflection down and this actually kind of happens more often than you think whenever you're going to be cutting the image in half or cutting the item in half and then you have to stretch the reflections to make it look natural. So you can do stuff like that with the smudge tool and it totally looks unnoticeable which is very valuable because if you took the paintbrush with a white color and you were going to try to add to the reflection is just really obvious even if I put a really soft function on it looks okay but it's not quite there it's not quite as nice as using the smudge tool of course if you want to do a hard like if you wanted to stretch it out like this then you could use the smudge tool and like feather it out around the outside like that but it all depends on what you're using it for and what image you're using it on so in this tutorial series I'm going to be going through all of the tools up here and you'll realize that every one of these has their own purpose that you'll use a lot in just about every image so I hope this video is useful if it was don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time